Grade 12, Vocabulary, Unit 8, Workbook page 76. Lesson objectives. Today we're going to have two different objectives. The first one, consolidate vocabulary using gap filling activities. The second one, use the new vocabulary effectively in context. Let's have a look at the new vocabulary. Stay to school. This is a governmental school. The government provides the money for it. But private school is a school where students pay money to learn there. It doesn't receive any financial support from the government. Vocational school. This is a school that provides skills and education that prepare them for the jobs such as technical commercial schools. Boarding school. This is a school where students live and learn. Primary school. This is uh, the school for young children between the age of 5 and 11 years old. Secondary school. This is a school for students between the ages of 12 and 16 years old. Available. That's ready for immediate use. Able to be both used or reached. Compulsory. This you must do it because of a rule or a law. Motivated. Uh, very interested or keen because you want to do a certain thing. Dedicated. Believing that something is very important and giving a lot of time and energy to do it. Exercise one, underline the correct item. Number one, my parents couldn't afford to send us to private school, state school when we were children. Couldn't afford? Uh-huh, it's easy, private school. Number two, Hannah is used to being away from her parents because she started vocational boarding school when she was seven. Uh -huh. Away from her parents? Yeah. Boarding school. Three. If you go to state school, public school, education is free. Actually, state is a governmental school. In England, public school is the private school. This is according to their culture. So we're going to have here state school. Number four, in the UK, children start primary, secondary school when they are five years old. Five years old, primary school. Number five, in the UK, education is available, compulsory, until the age of 16. Compulsory, they must go. Numbers, Martha is really motivated, dedicated to her studies and nothing distracts her. Uh -huh. Dedicated. Exercise two. Fell in. Away. Into. With. About. From. On. In. To. Number one. Salim walked. The classroom. Sarah has just can got out his books. So walked. Into. Number two. Kara wants to go. University in London and study medicine. Very easy, go to. Number three, George moved to this school, Germany, two years ago. From Germany. Number four, Kareem is going on a school trip to New York. He's going away on a school trip. Follow exercise two, fill in, away, into, with, about, 
from on in to. Number five. In history class, they are learning all the ancient Romans. All the ancient Romans. Yes, very easy, all about. Number six. Kelly hates the outfits they have to wear. PE classes. Wear PE classes? Yes, in PE classes. Number seven. The teacher put the textbook, the table, the textbook, the table at the front of the class. Uh -huh. On the table. Number eight. Philip likes to do projects. Other people, he thinks it's much more fun. So he likes to do projects uh -huh. with other people. Exercise three, underline the correct title. So Maxin has a very busy schedule, course, curriculum this term as she's taking extra lessons in Chinese and advanced math. Busy schedule. That's right. Number two, Henry is a vibrant, exceptional, contributing student. He always gets the highest marks in the class. So he's achieving a thing that's unusual to be done. Exceptional. Number three, we have to write, give, set a test on Friday. Take a test means to set a test. Number four, the school needs to build two new classrooms to facilitate, make it easy, enroll, handle the extra students we will be getting next year. So there will be a lot of students next year. They need to be controlled, a problem that needs to be controlled handle. Number five, we have to submit our projects by the date, objective, deadline, or we will lose marks. So there is a threat here. Actually, it will be deadline. Exercise four, fill in the correct word. Professor, the headmaster, the of our school, used to our school, Professor or headmaster? Headmaster. To be a, at university. It's very easy now, university, so it will be a professor. Grades, degree. I want to do an undergraduate mm -hmm. degree, but I have to get good in my school exams. Now it's very easy, good. Grades course and term. I'm taking a French on Mondays. French course. After school this huh, term. Follow exercise four. Results. Marks. I got good for my science project. That's very easy. Good marks. But I have to wait for that of the final exam to see whether I passed the course for the results. Teacher, lecturer. I originally wanted to work as a in a secondary school. Ah, uh, teacher. But now I think I'd like to be a university, so university lecturer. Finally, don't forget to do your homework on Teams today. Don't forget today. Thank you very much.